outside the circle, right? Yeah, I put like just literally my other my pulley rig. Be a halibut, though. Be careful. It's a cod. Is it? It's a big cod. Oh my god! It's unbelievable. Okay. Look at that. That was literally lowered straight down the side of the pier. Welcome to the start of day six in Norway. It's our last day fishing today and we've come back to a pier that we fished a couple of times already this trip and we're hoping there might be some big fish passing through. I'm actually fishing mixed tactics today. On my right hand rod there I've already cast out a nice fillet of herring so that's after something decent and on the left hand rod I've got a little scratching rig uh, so that's a loop rig of 18 inch snoods and a couple of ragworm on each hook that's size one o's. 42 pound snoods just in case something big does pick that bait up and again I'm using the um, saltwater champions because they're a nice strong hook for that size, just in case that big fish comes through on the ragworm bait. So yeah, and uh, the herring, that's on a five foot pulley rig with a 4 circle at the top, 5 J hook at the bottom. And we'll take a look at those a bit later on, but the sun is out again at the moment. It's meant to rain later, but hopefully that'll hold off and hopefully we'll have a good day. So if you've been enjoying my Norway videos, please click like, and I'd absolutely love it if you could subscribe to my channel um, yeah, I've already got about 950 subscribers and I've only put a few videos up, so very, very happy with that. Thank you for everyone who's clicked that subscribe button, it does mean a lot. And yeah, please leave any comments, questions in the video after the... Well, let me try that again. Clearly I've been spending so much time fishing, my brain is not in gear. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, please do leave those uh, underneath the video. And I do try and reply to just about every comment, even if it isn't straight away. But yeah, they're all appreciated. So thanks everybody. Let's see if we can get some fish on Norway, day six. So I thought I'd have a little go at some shadding and we have a cold fish. Look at that. It's not much bigger than the lure. I'll get this chap unhooked, chuck him back. Well, the ragworm baits have been out quite a while now and I haven't had any touches on them but we are absolutely surrounded by those cold fish that we saw we might catch one earlier on the shad. They're just everywhere. Every direction we cast a shad, there's cold fish swarming on it. So I put the shad down because I've had a few and to be honest, it's so easy. A little bit boring catching tiny little cold fish over and over again. Um, so yeah, I'm going to reel these ragworm in, see if the cold fish have stripped it and I'm going to chuck a herring bait back out on that and then I'll rebait my rag rig ready to go out when I reel the other one in in a bit. But yeah, we'll keep fishing and keep trying and hopefully something's going to come through here knowing all these cold fish are here and wanting to eat them up and find our baits. You might be able to see all the cold fish down there feeding on bits of fish that have just come out of the factory behind us. Let's try moving over here a bit. there we go and those fish those cold fish are attracting the fishing down the side of the pier that I'm trying to catch so you can see having my line there going straight down the side of the pier fish I just chucked down the side oh, yeah oh, let's get this rod out of the way oh, yeah no, no. I didn't want you to miss it. What's out of the circle, right? Yeah, I put, like, just literally my other, my pulley rig. Be a halibut, though. Be careful. Yeah. yeah. Halibut? I don't know what it is, but it's big. Pull it. I've just got one on there ready to pack. Leaders on the rod. Might be a butt. Big one. Come on. Might need the gaff. What do you do? Just lower it down? Literally lowered it down. It's a cod. It's a cod. Is it? It's a big cod. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's unbelievable. I'm going to need some help. <laughs> Literally. 
I still had the leader on my reel. Yeah. I'm gonna be doing that again. Yeah, fixed length sadly. You all right? Yeah. I'll come a bit closer. Yeah. Fish, huh? Got it? Yeah. Thanks. That's the biggest fish you've got this trip. Yeah. Probably 10. I have to weigh it. Now look at that. That's a tenner. That is massive. I reckon that's double, yeah. Stop on camera. So I'm not on camera. <laughs> I didn't have time to turn it on. Oh, you said I was going to put it on for you. Oh. Oh no, I am on camera. I am on camera. <laughs> I literally just lowered my up. bait. Open it up to you. Thank you. I literally lowered my bait straight over the pier. And thanks to Wayne for putting my camera on. Oh, let's have a look at this fish. So I'll unhook my rig. Whoa. <laughs> let's try that again without the camera blowing over. Yeah, it was, it was on a coal fish. All right, angle my camera back so it doesn't blow over again. Let's take a look at this absolute beast. <laughs> look at that. That was literally lowered straight down the side of the pier. I saw this, well probably this fish, when I was just trying to catch a little coley again around the side on the shad. And a big fish appeared out of nowhere, so I lowered my herring bait straight down the side. Was it coley? It was either coley or herring. Whatever it was, it doesn't matter, because I'm very, very happy with that fish. Oh, so yeah, I'm going to get this guy unhooked and uh, sort him out. Woohoo! <sighs> Oh. Well, we just weighed that beautiful cod, nine pound one. So not a PB for me, which my PB is ten pound ten off the beach, but a beautiful fish. That one's going to be coming home. I'll fillet it, get it frozen down, pack to the luggage tomorrow. So I'm going to try that technique again, just literally dropping one over the side, see if we can pick up another beast. Well, a little bit of time has passed since all that action with that beautiful cod. It's been a bit quiet since. I'm still getting loads of coalies straight down the side on the, on the uh, lure setup. But what I'm going to do now is reel in my big herring bait and chuck out my scratching rig again, because that's not been out for a while. And hopefully we'll pick up another fish. There's now a group of five of us fishing down here and it is very quiet on the bites front we're using the baits but on the lures still plenty of these little coalies about that sort of size coming out but it's getting pretty chilly the wind's picked up you can probably see i've got my coat on again trying to keep the wind chill off um, but yeah we just keep plugging away well i didn't have time to turn my camera on then i'm fishing one rod straight literally straight down the side of the pier still with my leader on the reel that's how close in i am and we just had a take on my herring pulley rig so let's have a look at what we got there we have a beautiful coal fish Br pristine condition lovely markings and that certainly got the adrenaline going and warmed me up in this chilly breeze. So yeah, stunning fish. Not the biggest, but certainly very welcome. Cool, whoa, it's making a bid for freedom. <laughs> That's gonna get my coat nice and filthy. So yeah, there we go, woohoo. I'm absolutely smothered in it. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. We've just given him away and he's coming in at four pound eight. That's a PB for me, so I'm very happy with that fish. And, whoa, 
it's still lively. <laughs> Four pound eight. And we'll get this one sorted out. And we're good to go again, get some more baits out. There's the local ferry coming back. I suppose you'd call it a taxi boat really, rather than a ferry. Taking people from A to B across the fjords. There's not been very many passengers on it. Oh, I just had a bite. A bite on my rod that's straight down the side. Let's keep an eye on that. While I also keep an eye on the little taxi boat ferry. Because my rod that's straight down the side might be just attracting those millions of coalies plucking up my herring bait. So I'll have to check it soon to check I've still got some bait left on there. Now it's going to look like this furry is going to come quite close to us, but thankfully it's just going to park up down on the right over there and not come through our lines, hopefully. It certainly hasn't yet. And the driver does give us a smile and wave sometimes when he goes past. What I want is for this rig that's straight down the side to go ripping off. I've got my drag set nice and loose, so if something big does take it, the rod's not going to go in. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Uh, that's probably those tiny little coal fish. There must be a million of them down here in the sea in front of us. Because as soon as we drop a lure in, you can pretty much catch one every cast. I'll just leave that nodding away and I'll check the baits shortly. Now isn't that cute? Little starfish just to end the Norway trip. Well guys, it's about four o'clock and I'm not sure how much longer we're going to give it at this mark. Apart from those two Nice fish I've caught, the coley and the cod, and enormous number of miniature coleys we've had down the side. Uh, it's been very quiet, that's all that's been caught today. It's our last night here, so I'm not sure I'll be heading out again later, though some of the guys might. Um, I might just focus on cleaning up all my gear, getting packed for our journey home tomorrow. But it's been a cracking week, and although we haven't caught huge numbers of fish, it's been certainly steady sport, and it's been lovely being over here with a bunch of friends. But lots of good banter, lots of good food, lots of good fishing. That's what you want in a good fishing holiday. So Norway has delivered plenty of cod on this trip. Got loads to take back home, filleted and frozen in the freezer. So yeah, if you've enjoyed these videos, please click the like button. And I'd love it if you could be one of my subscribers. So please do consider that. And maybe I'll be bringing you some more action from Norway later in the year if I manage to get back. Otherwise, we will be back on the Sussex coast shortly after my return, when hopefully I'll be able to get out on the Brighton Place again. Thanks for watching.